This video is made possible in part by Apex Basin Academy who provided me with a license letting me evaluate their membership. A discount link for Apex Racing Academy and Apex Racing League are featured at the end of this video. Check it out after you've heard what I've got to say. The best thing about sim racing is that anyone can take part. From school aged folks to pensioners, everyone is eligible. Indeed, the main limiting factor is how much free time you've got amongst all your other endeavours. If you're in full-time work and you've got responsibilities, a social life and other projects, your free time is scarce and extremely valuable. Regardless of the amount of free time you have, if sim racing is a passion in which you spend it, you want it to count as much as possible. Nothing is quite as frustrating as sitting down for an iRacing session that you've planned around and having it go up in flames as quickly as you started. In my opinion, there are three things you can do to fundamentally improve your iRacing experience with a view to making sure that every time you're seated in your racing rig, it's worth the effort. Suggestion number one, take part in a league. Now, don't be scared off by the word league. It's not just for the savagely competitive. Everyone can be catered for. League racing brings a lot of support and structure to your racing, turning it into a predictable routine you can plan around well in advance. Many leagues race once a week and many are broadcasted online just like a televised race which can be tuned into via YouTube and similar platforms. This is a really big point to consider because if you've got kids for example, this could be a really smart way for you to race and for them to watch from the living room at the same time. All too often this hobby has an isolating effect, separating you from family. And if there are ways to bring it all back to a shared experience, then it should be seized upon. If your loved ones can take part in the fun by watching your adventures live from the living room, it turns into a real group activity. Along with the structure of the league, you also have stewarding and race control, which means that silly or unsporting behaviour is rarely a problem for long, meaning you stand a good chance of having clean racing with accountability for all. After all, there's nothing worse than getting battered on lap one and it's all over with no way to get justice. When time is a luxury, this is all the more aggravating with one or two hour gaps between official sessions before you can race again. Many league events also have multiple races or heats, or they have a fast repair, meaning that should a big incident happen, you've still got the option to be back on your feet within the allotted time to race. At the end of the day, some folks have a weekly footy meetup, some folks have got a weekly pub quiz, you can have a weekly league race. As someone who's taken part in four Apex Racing League seasons so far, I can highly recommend them as a league organiser. Apex Racing League operates a catalogue of organised races for most of the popular cars on iRacing all days of the week, all broadcasted live for your own personal audience to watch. For me, Sunday night works for best, but that's why I take part in the Apex Racing League GT Championship, which runs on Sunday nights. Suggestion number two, use a setup shop and explore beyond the fixed setup series. Although iRacing has got a few fixed setup series now, personally I find the fixed setups that are provided and locked to each car are often unforgiving and difficult to drive compared to a well built open setup specific to each track. This means that those of you that, you know, rightly choose fixed setup series in an effort to save time and hassle may actually find that the car is less enjoyable to drive in the end. The only problem there is that making setups takes a lot of time and knowledge to build Setup shops exist to let you exchange a subscription fee to get fresh valid setups for almost any series on iRacing. The average setup shop subscription costs about a tenner a month and for that you have the assurance that the setups you get are tailor made for the track and car with the average racer in mind. The difference between how a baseline fixed setup from iRacing feels and how a specialised setup made by these setup shop feels is often massive and can be so much easier to handle. I've been subscribed to a few of the main big setup shops that cater to iRacing for some time now. Virtual Racing School setups feel fairly neutral. Their online videos and analysis tools are also great for learning and for dissecting your technique. You can sit and take your own driving technique to bits for some time if you want. Pure Driving School is ideal for the ultra competitive with time to practice and whilst they are usually you know, on a knife edge and hard to control, they are typically the fastest setups if you are at the very top of your game. You know, high risk, high reward. 
Apex Racing Academy setups feel a lot like VRS, they're balanced and predictable, but the main difference is there's a big time saving trick up ARA's sleeve, which is the Setup Sync app, which downloads the setups to your computer automatically. Something which, for this topic at least, does make ARA the most convenient of the three that I've tried. Normally, getting a car set up is a case of going onto the shop's website, finding the series and the car you use, finding the applicable week, downloading the file and sorting the file into the right place and so on and so forth. But Apex Racing Academy is the only one I know of so far with an app to skip all of that and do it for you. For the time poor, that is a really useful thing and just means a lot less clicking to get to your setups. I mean, I know, it only takes a couple of minutes to grab a setup for that week. But if you're having to do it every time you switch to a new car and track combination, then it starts to become one of those consistent little speed bumps that you have to do every time you jump in. It's hardly a major problem, but this is a video about using your valuable time efficiently. So, you know, it is nice just to load up any car and track and have a setup ready to go without even thinking about it. My usual routine is to jump into a new combo, pick the ARA setup that's synced to the setup folder, then once I'm really in the groove and found my lap times, I'll try the equivalent PDS or VRS setup to give them a go and see which of the three suits me best. Maybe I've got too much time on my hands. Suggestion number three, find your favourite car and specialise in it. This one tends to come naturally anyway as you figure out your favourite car in iRacing but I advise you to become a specialist in a certain car or class and stick to it, at least for a reasonable amount of time. Knowing a car's behaviour very well means you're less likely to get caught out when you don't have loads of time to practice. I spend most of my time in the GTE and GT3 cars which are quite similar to one another but there's always an adjustment phase when I switch between them as I inevitably get itchy feet and need a change. If you have limited time to practice, stick to a car you like and become good friends with it so that you understand it best. Hopping from car to car is like changing occupations. It takes some time to get up to speed and race with confidence. Although it can feel like it, being busy doesn't have to mean putting iRacing back in a box, but I can totally see why those of you with sparse free time can get sick of the routine of practicing for the current week's track checking your watch to make sure you don't miss the 8 or 10 o'clock race or whatever, getting punted out of the race on lap 1 with no option to continue and wondering why you bothered. This is also probably a big problem if you don't have the time to race consistently and the I rating system keeps putting you in low ability groups where clean racing is harder to find. Put my three suggestions together and you may find you get a lot more out of every minute you spend. League racing in particular makes a big impact on the quality of your sessions and it's where I spend most of my time nowadays as I know each session will be cleaner, the grid will be full of trustworthy names and I rarely feel like I've wasted my time. Now I mentioned earlier that I had discount links for Apex Racing Academy subscriptions and Apex Racing League entries. Sadly I can't see any mechanisms for discount codes for PDS or VRS so I would share them here if I did but for Apex stuff at least this is how you can get them. Click on the link in the description below to visit my referral link for either ARA or ARL where you'll be shown the current discount code. Click on it to copy it then click on the shop now button to pass through to the site where you can then apply that code on checkout. That's it. Please feel free to comment and ask questions if you want to know more specifics but read the video description for more information too. I absolutely don't mind responding to your questions. If I don't know the answer I might know where you can find it. Please comment if you've found great ways to enjoy iRacing on a tight time budget or anything else you find lets you fit it around your busy lives. Thanks again to Apex Racing Academy and Apex Racing League for supporting this video and generally providing me with probably 90% of my racing this past year. Have a good one.